ओके आर वी गुड टू प्रोसीड एवरी वन मै ऑडिबल मै स्क्रीन इज विजिबल ओके सो मेक थैंक यू फॉर द कन्फर्मेशन लेट्स गेट इट स्टार्टेड so we have almost completed the collection framework series and uh, yesterday the as, ta as table okay yeah, this was completed yesterday today we will understand about this properties class properties class and this is one of the very one of the important classes or i can say that one of one of the important class in the map hierarchy in the java map hierarchy so you will use this in many java real time applications so this properties understanding properties is very very important so having said this so let us see some uh, concepts on top of java properties so by looking at this diagram can i have a conclusion like property is a child class to as table so this is one of the conclusions that i can make just by looking at the picture okay just by looking at the picture i can make one of the conclusions which is what properties properties class extends to as table or else i can say that first point properties class is a child class to as table as table the second point is this properties class was introduced in jdk 1.0 version same like as table no it was also introduced in jdk 1.0 version or 1.0 version zero version so when something is getting introduced in 1.0 version we call this as what the legacy class it is a legacy right and when you look at the hierarchy and this property file is standing here man right? the position of properties file is here so all the all the all the actual properties all the behaviors of the as table will be app applied to properties also so what are the behaviors that we have for the as table the same behavior is iner inherited for the properties class as well so actually the property the purpose of property is completely different so we see a different picture from now onwards especially for property properties class as a unique behavior properties class as what the unique behavior what is the unique behavior we will understand it now right usually how do we represent key and value pair for example if you have a data if you want to represent two data in the form of key value pair focus service this is very very important you want to represent any data in the form of key value pair so how it is represented usually so we use maths and you can use hash map linked hash map okay these are the classes that you can use to represent any data in the form of key value pair right for example so if i want to work on uh, with some data okay and uh, i can use to represent any data in the form of key value pair i have many options multiple options i have i can use hash map and i can also use linked hash map each and every map each and every uh, class that i am using here has some additional advantages right so linked hash map follows the insertion order hash map follows what hash map uses hashing mechanism and we have pre map internally pre map follows the sorted order and we also have what identity hash map identity hash map and this identity hash map allows uh, keys in such a way that uh, the key is getting compared with double equal to operator so everything everything that we are trying to use for the map if you want to store the data in the form of key value pair right each and every class is going to store the key value pair in the java application itself yes or no right for example if i want to represent some key value if i have a data like key value pair so let us take this as key let us let us take this as value okay, we have key value i want to take three keys for example i want to take uh, key as uh, country india so the capital of india is uh, new delhi okay and i want to take two more countries so 
how to take the USC the capital of USA is what Washington DC Washington DC right and I want to take one more country uh, let us take uh, what Russia in the capital is what, what Moscow right so this key and value should be defined in the Java application itself try to understand okay. everything has to be defined in the Java application itself so I need to write a Java program or I need to uh, if I am developing a Java application if I get a requirement like I want to store uh, an information in the form of key value pair right I can do that I can do that by using either by using hash map or by using uh, linked hash map or tree map or identity hash map I can use all these concepts but properties okay the, the thing that we are talking about here the properties okay you cannot use these properties in the Java application itself for example if you want to represent data in the form of key value pair in the Java application right you can use all these classes like hash map linked hash map tree map anything. but if you want to use all this outside the Java application if I have a requirement to use my data if I, if I have a requirement to transport this data to transport this data outside the Java application for example if I want to transport this data to a text editor to, or to a text file this is not a Java application so if I want to transport all this information into something like you know let us say that abc.txt I can do that I can write the same key and value I can pass the same information to a text file to a text file by using what by using properties we will understand that in detail by using what by using this properties class right so let me write uh, some theory this is a legacy class fourth one is please be informed that properties file is like a text file with the dot properties extension and you can use the properties class to transport to transport the data from java application to the plain text file then we will see these things in actions right if you want to transport the data if you want to make a communication or if you want to establish a communication between the java application and the text file right if you want to transport the data outside the java application or if you want to fetch the data from outside the java application you will use what properties class right you will see these things in actions right so where exactly we are going to and one more thing and every information every data has to be represented in the form of what key value pair this is when it comes to map okay when it comes to map whenever you see map whenever you see all this everything has to be represented in the form of key value pair data should be represented in the form of key value pair never ever forget this so key value always the keys are unique the values can be what uh, it can be anything okay you can duplicate the values but not the keys right the fifth one so why one has to use the properties files okay in the real time application for example if i am designing a java program if you want to design a java program let us say that i am writing you know five five lines of code one two three four five so this is my java program just imagine that this is my java program i have written five lines of code and in order to make it work in order to run this code I need to go through what compilation so compilation is the first stage the compilation will look for what errors and uh, if there are any errors okay we have to correct those errors then again we need to recompile it every time the compilation will come into the picture as the first stage followed by what followed by the execution so for the execution JVM will come into the picture so we have seen these things already JVM 
right once the program is run once you have written some piece of code some lines of code okay once the program started running okay let us think that this is running in the server running in the server right and if you want to add some data in your java program you want to do what you want to add a line or you want to add some data in your java program already the program is running the server if you want to make any changes in your existing java application what you have to do you have to do what before adding this okay, you need to stop the server and you need to add the new line which are the changes that we want to do then again you need to do what you need to restart the compilation you need to recompile it because you are adding something new okay that code needs to be checked by the compiler so you need to do the recompilation every time okay whenever you are making a small change or a big change whatever the change is no matter how the change is for every change you need to recompile your application you need to re recompile your java program and say so after the compilation then you can run run then, then you can place it to the server okay to avoid this okay if you want to if you are making minor changes like uh, you know the user id or the configuration information something like configuration information or you know uh, some kind of information like a server setup right some kind of uh, you know uh, giving the file names okay these are the minor changes in your application if you want to perform minor changes right you can use what you can you can keep all these changes in a file called property file properties file and this property file has already got a communication established with the java application so you keep a property file outside the java programming language so that you can make changes here you can make changes outside the java program application so that the recompilation can be avoided you cannot i mean you can avoid the recompilation for making the changes within the program you need to recompile it every time but if it is a minor change you are doing what you are just trying to you know uh, keep those changes or keep those data or update those information by using a file called properties file which is nowhere related to java application it is outside of the java programming language it is outside the java application if you want to change your user you can change it directly it will not affect your server server keeps running okay as long as uh, you are not uh, making any changes in the java program server keeps running so you can save a lot of time for example if you are uh, you see the banking application every time there will be a lot of updates in the banking application you cannot you cannot keep changing uh, codes in the banking application or the enterprise application so what do you do if you have any minor changes you do the changes in the properties file that properties file has already got an got uh, already established a communication with the java programming language so these changes can be done through the properties file so that uh, server can keep running without even uh, interrupting the server you can keep running the server without having to recompile the program every time so this is one of the advantages of the properties file we will see those things in program so this is the theoretical thing we keep this in mind okay i can write a point here like if you if you have any requirement if you have any frequent We have any data that needs to be changed frequently. Frequently. So, if you have any data that needs to be changed frequently in the Java application, the Java application, we use a file called properties file and we communication is already established in this properties file okay so we keep the changes and we use the properties file to keep the changes uh, you know that where the data is uh, changing frequently right the communication all will print the properties file and the java java application so 
so that we can avoid recompilation every time. Okay. So this is the fifth point. And the sixth point is something like, for example, uh, you know, uh, in the real time application, whenever you are logging into any application, any application, if the application is providing you some security, definitely the application is going to ask you to, to do what? To enter your username and to enter your password. And if you see the labels, you have username. Username is a label. I can say it is a label because these are the things that you see, that the end user see. And you can also see what password. Right? So you have username and you have what? password in the form of labels so this part this this is called as what gui part gui means what graphical user interface the things that you see uh, you know from your system when you are uh, trying to log into any application if it is a secure application if it needs an authentication right you have to go through this page the login page actually we call it as what login page and if you see even in the facebook or in even in any social media application there will be a lot of information in the form of text right you know in the below you see like languages something like tamil telugu many things will be there many data will be there many data will be there language information or you know uh, the uh, specific to the application information so many information will be there okay, this information are completely dynamic okay, they are not static they are dynamic so when i say dynamic they keep changing okay for example if you are logging into the google application okay this says this is not the uh, this is not how the google is going to work uh, you know the google interface it keeps changing that user interface okay today you see the google uh, in a different font size okay tomorrow it will be like showing you up some other thing like you know if someone is celebrating if a famous personality or the famous freedom fighter uh, is uh, as its anniversary something like that as its birthday so it is going to display their picture here Okay, every day the data you know the uh, login data of the google keeps changing dynamically right so for example if you say google like this tomorrow google may change to some other name like google AI, right if the data is dynamic in the front end or in the user interface or in the gui you can keep those data in the properties files so that you can make these changes dynamically right so i can conclude like Please be informed that the GUI labels, the GUI applications will use properties files as the data or the information keeps changing dynamically you cannot have a fixed page in your application for a long time your application keeps changing isn't it okay the login page today the login page would be different and tomorrow the login page is going to be different okay if you go to the same example which have does today you can see it as username tomorrow instead of username it will uh, label okay there will be a label called what login a day after tomorrow if you see instead of login you will find some other thing here and they want to ensure that the uh, front end you know the login page is active so that you know they keep changing the structure of the login page every time okay this can be done by using the properties files without having to recompile the code recompile the code every time please give me some more time we will we will understand this through a java program okay so seventh point so this is six point is this okay for example sometimes you perform the data validations right data validations is like what uh, i think you might have come across this situation everyone might have come across the situation uh, they uh, if you want to fill in if you want to fill in the registration form it will ask you for the first name your last name right and your age and things like that okay you need to fill in all this information okay under the first name you have an option to fill your name but it says the name cannot be 
no the uh, length of the name cannot be more than 22 characters if you enter your name if it is less than 22 characters no issues if you entering you are if you're scribbling something here if you're scribbling if you wantedly deliberately entering a first name which is more than 23 words right it should throw an error message right it should throw an error message to you saying that uh, something like error message like please ensure that name is less than 22 or 23 characters some people will do this some people will try to uh, overload the server by giving uh, you know, all this uh, you know, scribbling information or this uh, invalid information so uh, validation will happen okay this error message the error message that i am talking about here this error message varies from time to time today they will ex they may not expect 23 i mean 23 characters not words 23 characters okay, tomorrow they may ex uh, they may not accept 25 characters accordingly they need to change the error message okay this error message they will keep in what properties okay so the seventh point is to manage validations messages the data validation data validation in any application if you want to uh, register for uh, any application if you want to get services for any application registration is required so the data that you are entering needs to be what it has to go through the first level validation you cannot ideally it cannot application cannot accept all the data all the corrupted data all the misinformation so they do the basic validation right so all this validation the error message that is going to throw based upon the input okay those error messages will be placed in the properties file Use properties so theory will be boring okay uh, in short period of time we will try to understand this practically okay, eighth one internalization inter internationalization okay i think you know what is internalization internationalization okay internationalization if for example uh, you have uh, the banking application guys any banking application if you want to log into any banking application or let us say that you have to log into your facebook facebook account okay facebook has an option okay it is it will ask you the username or it will ask you the password and if you go inside and if you manage your settings right that settings is going to give different options you can choose your own language right if you are comfortable in english you can go with english but if you are comfortable in Tamil, you can go with Tamil. If you are comfortable in Telugu, you can go with Telugu. If you are comfortable in Malayalam, you can choose them. See, as soon as you choose a particular language, right? If suppose let us say that I am trying to choose Tamil, right? And as soon as I log in, as soon as I hit the login button, right? After this home page, okay? As soon as I enter login button, after uh, this home page, uh, the welcome page has to come, right? if i choose english as my primary language so welcome balaji welcome as per the name that i have given the facebook i am choosing uh, the uh, tamil as my primary language i should get something in tamil vanakkam so i cannot type tamil words here so i just type vanakkam balaji if i choose something like telugu okay i need to get something namaskaram Or I, uh, in Telugu, they say, uh, or times they say, Daniya Vadal. So, like that, okay. The language that I choose, the same language should come in the, uh, no, in the console. Okay. These things are handled by what properties files. You will see all these things. I will also show you how to display the message in Tamil, Telugu, and Malayalam. Right. So, this is called as what? Internal, interna, internationalization. Okay. I can say that please be formed that to manage local representative or local 
messages we will also use properties properties when we use unique code okay we, i will help you how to design that unique code right the last point the ninth point is what uh, user defined exceptions to display an error message to the end user when i say to display the error message to the end user for example i am uh, going to my bank okay and uh, i want to withdraw some money this is the atm just imagine that this is atm i want to withdraw some money right and uh, while withdrawing i am trying to withdraw over my limit against my limit so i have the balance of 5000 my bank account but i am trying to withdraw 6000 rupees okay, when i give this input 6000 to the atm right it uh, gets connected to the database and it will check it will validate if i actually have the 6000 rupees or not that validation will be done if not based upon the input that i gave it has to give me the relevant output in the form of error message okay, what what could be the error message insufficient funds Insufficient, right? And this is not only the error message, we have many error messages like invalid pin. You remember, these are the error messages that I have come across. I have also come across this insufficient funds. Every time I will come across this. Uh, there are such some error messages like uh, you know remove and uh, set the card again card again right so server error okay, these are the frequently uh, you know error frequently displayed error messages in an atm machine right these error messages will be usually okay not exactly in the properties files but these error messages can be handled in the properties files in java they don't keep these error messages in the main application instead they will prefer a property file they will uh, you know uh, they will use that property file to handle all these messages error messages so these error message in java will call as what exceptions Right, so I can write it like what user defined exceptions to manage any user defined exceptions. Or to achieve exceptional handling, we will use properties. Okay, that's it about the theory so let us uh, understand how we can make this happen practically operations to perform to store data in the properties right. i can say that to handle data in the by using properties files to handle data by using properties file so pay some attention here we do not want to deal with this let me remove okay now there are two points that we need to remember there are two ways the first way is you can write a data to a property file from the java application you can do what you can write a data or you can write some data to the properties file by using the java application or i can say that from the java application instead of by using from the java application from the java application you can post your data to the property file or you can you can read some data from the
properties file to the java application these are the two operations that you can achieve by using what properties file how to achieve that we will discuss firstly we will understand how you can write some data to the properties files from the java application this part we need to understand okay the first point create file output stream right the targeted properties file so very simple guys let me open the eclipse editor okay, what i want to do so here i what i'm trying to do is i want to you know transfer data i want to do what i want to transfer data so let us assume the same example i want to transfer this data to a property file so this is the java application in the java application right i have some data in the form of key value pair so this is talking about uh, the key information and the value information i want to transport this data to the external file i need to move this uh, data away from java application Right. for that what i need to do i need to use java streams okay there is a class called file output stream so this is a class so you will understand this in the future classes okay file output stream is representing what if you have any data okay if you want to you know create a file outside the java application and that file needs to what collect information from the java application right for that we will use file output stream so you are outputting the information but you are moving the data from the java application to some other source the name itself gives you some information gives you some picture right so you know what you can create any reference variable fos i am taking equal to new file output stream and it is expecting you to give the file name i will tell you what is it you can give any file name here any directory you can give what you can give here any directory you can give for example uh, let me take the folder you know my open my folder let me take uh, the d folder okay and here i am taking what i'm taking a new folder the name of the new folder is test okay so i'm to i'm choosing this directory so d folder inside the d folder I mean, inside the D drive, uh, I want to use a folder called test. Name of the folder itself is what test. Okay, I am giving the directory here. And after this, I want to choose the file name. Okay, I want to name the file as uh, what uh, A B C D dot properties. Okay, so what I am doing it here is I am creating a properties file by the name of abcd right and it, it is placed inside the d drive there is a folder called test you can give any folder name you can give any path that is up to you but for our example i am choosing this one okay. so because of this line what will happen behind the scenes is right a file will be created okay a property file will be created or text file will be created like this focus here a text file will be created and the name of this text file is what abcd dot properties this text file is completely empty for now this text file is what completely empty okay i think it is visible now okay now 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 second line okay the first point so what we have just done we have just uh, created a property file by using file output stream via something like that so let me copy and paste it in the notepad the second step so please create create properties class object and set the key value data key value Pair data. We want to set the key value pair data in the form of objects. 
So we need to set the key value parameter in the form of object by using what by using what properties class. So I want to create a class by the name of properties in the program. The first line is this. Second line is properties, and uh, I am taking a reference variable name as p. You can take any name equal to new properties. Okay, so I am creating a properties file object by using what properties? I just use the name of the class and create an object for the properties. You can give any reference variable name. So only I have done. I have uh, done. I have created two lines of code. These are the two lines. Now what I am doing? I am using this reference variable to do what? To set the property. There is a method called set property method. You can pass two values, two data. One data is key. Second data is value. So what what the what is the information that I want to pass? I want to pass India. I want to pass what the capital is New Delhi, right? And the second set of information I want to set property. So I am going along according to this diagram: USA, Washington, Russia, Moscow. Okay. USA. Washington DC. What is the third property that I want to set? Russia, Moscow. Russia, Moscow. Okay, so I want to transport this data. So, in order to transport this, because this is the Java application, so this is an Eclipse editor. So, I am writing a program by using Java language and I am uh, using this properties class to transport this data i want to transport this data to what to this particular file a b c d our properties right so to do this i am not using hash map linked hash map or tree map or identity hash map i am just using what properties so i can remove this properties p equal to new properties so this is the information that i have set by using set property i hope you are able to visualize this right okay now so this is the uh, text editor or the properties file and this is the java application okay they are standing in, i mean they are facing each other so i can say that they are uh, this is one different application and this is another different application instead of application i can say that this is one platform java platform this is the text platform so they both do not have any kind of communication any relationship is not there i want to make a relationship i want to do what i want to establish a communication i want to establish a communication like this. okay sir i just want to do this what is this establish a connection or establish a communication okay establishing a communication between these two how can i do that so i have done this by with the paint it is not like that so if you go back here so it was standing uh, this is standing separately and you know this is also standing separately what do you want to do you want to use a method called store method so use this p reference variable p dot call the store method store method is one of the methods in properties file and this store method will accept ex expects two arguments one argument is the file output stream object fos this argument second argument is any meaningful message you can give any message countries it's capitals okay the moment you do this the moment you do this what will happen the moment you do this communication gets established communication gets established okay the moment you start running this code the moment you start if you start hitting the run button okay so i want to display something in the console some dot auto the data has been 
transfer successfully. So this is something I want to display to ensure that our application is running good and well. Okay. If I hit run button, see the data has been transferred successfully. Wait and see what is exactly happening here. I just hit run button, you are getting this message in the console. But I also want to see India, New Delhi, USA, Washington, DC, Russia, Moscow in a file where abcd.properties file. This is my concern. My concern is this. So this data needs to be transported to abcd.properties file. Right? Is that really happened? What did because of this uh, after hitting the uh, run button, this piece of information, right? Data will be transported to this uh, communication and it will be stored in what abcd properties file. Is it really happening? You need to find where is this abcd properties file. Where is that abcd properties file? This is in the D drive in the test folder abcd properties. Okay, let me go to the file. Uh, so we have did already it is created see abcd properties. If I open this and if you see okay forget about this. So this message is what countries and its capital. So you are getting this message is there. Okay, you can give any message here. That message will be printed in the top. Okay. And the second piece of message is the current date and time. At what time exactly this data has been transported? That information will get here. Third information: USA, Washington, India, New Delhi, Russia, Moscow. The same information that we have set. India, New Delhi, USA, Washington, Russia, Moscow. Don't you think that we have got the same information? Don't worry about this uh, order because what I have said in the beginning, what I have just said in the beginning, in the beginning I said it is it is what? Uh, it is the child class of hash table. Hash table will not follow insertion order. So same thing will happen here. Insertion order will not follow because indirectly this properties is section to hash table. Hash table is not following insertion order. So this will also not follow insertion order. Apart from that, okay, have we achieved the data transportation? We are able to transport our data. We are able to send our data from Java application to a different file. So we have forced the data to be pushed to a different file. By using what file? By using properties file. This can be achieved by using what class? By using what properties class. Okay, having said this, do we have an option to, you know, set property, like can I set property, can I set a duplicate key here? I am setting a duplicate key here, same what the hash, hash table is going to do when you enter the duplicate key. The duplicate key will be replaced, right? Duplicates are not accepted. The value will be replaced. So I want to change this new Delhi to what? A new So for the differentiation, I am saying the creator New Delhi. The creator New Delhi. Right, let me run this once again. Okay, semicolon is missing, guys. Nothing else. Let me run this once again. Okay, data has been transferred successfully. I just need to refresh this because it is the existing file. I need to reopen the file once again. Okay, now you see the uh, India has been replaced, but the value is the creator New Delhi. So ideally it will not accept the duplicate case when you give a duplicate key entry that is that will be replaced with the existing value the existing key the value will be replaced like this the all the properties that you have for uh, what uh, that you have for hash table is applicable for this properties also can i give the null value just try to give the null value null key and null value i cannot give this because hash table will not accept null key and the null value even even this will also not accept null key and null value. You cannot transport the null data. You will get null pointer exception. Right? So is it following sorted order? No, it is not following sorted order. Is it following insertion order? No, it is not preserving insertion order. Right? Internal internal it will use math hashing mechanism. Everything is going to be same. Right? But here you must understand that the data that you put in the key value has to be a string type. You cannot take any other data. For example, I wish to take the numerical data, something like 1900. 
right so 1900 is a kind of what data numerical data it is throwing me an error because this set property method will accept the key as string and the value should also be string no changes in that both should be string right so in the real time application we use these things okay in order to set the you know username and in order to set the password and in order to set the url and url uh, the url information he can be url and the information should be what the uh, exact url right or the any configuration information like things like that you will uh, set all this information to a separate file for the better management you collect the information and you will transport it to the separate file with the dot properties extension for the better management ideally you have to pass the key and value information so we have discussed only one thing here guys we have discussed what we have just discussed about how to write the data to the properties file from the java application so this is the way is there any difficulty here only I know, uh, you need to remember this and you need to use this properties class and you need to create object for the properties and you need to use the set property method to set the key and the value right all this information will be transported when you use the store method store method will expect the uh, file input file output stream object reference and the many meaningful information that you can you can give any information instead of countries i can also give xxx x, 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 something like that right if i run this code once again right so the data has been transferred successfully go back to that file and see the changes you get xxx x, x, x. so in the beginning there is an apostrophe I mean, uh, the symbol is, is there right so this symbol is representing what commands in java you use this for commands but in uh, properties file this is represented as a command right and this is also a command followed by the date and time and this equal to is representing a separator it is just like a separator to separate key the left hand part is always key and the right hand part is always value right so what are the information that i can write what are the uh, theory information that we can write down here first thing and the second thing is create an object by using properties file Yeah, the third one third point is what store properties object data see you see the store method. See? you use the store method and the store method is expecting Two parameters one is uh, the file input uh, file output stream object reference second one is any meaningful string message okay you can write what any meaningful message okay so this is all about the properties files not completed so we have just completed one part which is how to write the data from the properties file tomorrow we will understand the vice versa the opposite how to read data how to get this information back to the java application just the opposite how to get this information back to the java application for that we need to follow the second approach which is what uh, this one this will be explained tomorrow along with that i will also try to complete the uh, remaining topic which is the uh, v cash map okay. we will discuss this tomorrow and if you have any questions you can ask or else we can uh